What do you have in the recent past for my beautiful Cancerians, please? Receptivity. Mm, 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 mm. What is in the uh, present energy? The master. All right. And what is in the potential futures? Sharing. It's like the queen of wands. All right. So the first thing that I'm getting here with this recept uh, receptivity card here, some of you have had a washing over of sorts. Maybe you enjoyed that rain that a lot of people got the um, other few days ago or what have you. Maybe it's still raining, but there was a washing over of sorts here for you. Um, this is a lot of praise. This is a lot of singing, a lot of joy, a lot of gratitude. I don't know what y'all done been through, but y'all are excited about it on a whole other level. Okay? Because what I'm getting here is that uh, maybe Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, something that you worked hard towards and you finally got it. Here, you were um, given what it is that was that was rightfully deserved because you worked for it. Eight of Pentacles is what you're doing on a daily basis, what you're doing to put in that work. You plant the seed and you keep on watering it, right? And of course, with plants, not I don't think all plants, but don't get me the line, but it's kind of like that. With the plants, um, you plant one seed and, the, and depending on the type of flower or plant, uh, it drops off seeds into the ground in order for there to be more of what it is that you are working on and showing the fruits of your labor. With this Hierophant card, this may be the commitment that you made to whatever this is. Some of you may have recently gone into initiation here, but overall with this Hierophant card, some type of paperwork or something that you are building, organizing, structuring here is being, um, is being, this is something you were meant to do. So a lot of y'all are doing what y'all were meant to do. Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. A lot of y'all are putting in work regarding what it is that you are meant to do. Look at all this heart energy. This person is working in the heart, right? They're not working on the outside from the outside looking in. They are working in the heart. And they're using that free will power, right? Um, as above, so below. So mountains shrubs greenery <sighs> okay so most of these cancerians may be um something with the the maybe y'all are the ones who in your family there may have been some type of chemical imbalances or something like that and for some reason y'all have mastered something that has to do with that y'all mastered something to do with some like i don't know what this is but it's water in the head. Okay. What is this hierophant card? Maybe you're even taking something to court as time or taking something and getting, getting it finalized after some type of heartbreak. Three of swords and the lovers. This may be your family, friends, kin, or a significant other. The tower hit. Some kind of news came through very early in the morning. The tower hit, right? Someone may be wanting to apologize about some uh, something that you look at them as a disgrace. You don't want to hear about it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to even be about it, okay? This person may want to work with you. This may be a, the mother of your... Then Maybe they have a younger person they got pregnant. I'm going to get out of it. Maybe they have a, a younger person that they got pregnant. And you found out about it. You have a lot to be grateful for, happy for, and thankful for. And this is just, uh, you know another part of that situation this person really is in regret on how they treated you nine of pentacles and the seven of swords maybe you are recently single because of something that this person did the sun and the seven of swords they cannot deny what you found out it's not fun it's not funny i promise it's not funny <laughs> It's not funny. Your next card, Cancers, are is the master. You have mastered something, like I said earlier. I forgot that card was coming up. You have mastered something here. Princess of Torches and the Morning. There is something here that you are vigilant about. You have believed, whatever it is that you believe in, you believe in it. You hear me? Whatever this is, um, you wake up with it on your mind, you go to sleep with it on your mind. Here. All right, Virgo or another uh, uh, water sign. This is reconciliation, possibly. Many of you will be reconciling with your true intent, your true love, your true ten of cups. 
Y'all reconciling after someone crosses. What the fuck? Somebody crossing. I'm sorry to hear it. What? Information about, okay, so information about walking away to success and victory. Information about walking away, being triumphant and what it is that you are doing. Any challenges that you face. Child, what happened? Any challenges that you face here awaiting the arrival of something that you have manifested here. Now, then there's the five. So these fives, five and two is seven. So there's something coming in that is going to be part of what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. They want you to make it fit, fit it in your schedule, whatever this is that is coming up. Um, it looks like you get what you want after someone transitions. I don't know what that means. You know what it means to you. But the sun is shining down on a union here. So this may be you and someone else here. The judge. Maybe they're not transitioning. Maybe they're not transitioning. Maybe they're just transforming. Mm -hmm. After this union, after whatever this is that you are mastering, some of you may even be graduating soon or graduating spiritually or physically, right? In the this, this realm, which also connects to the spiritual. Mm. So you got the sharing here. This is you having so much to offer, feeling more like yourself, feeling more grounded, feeling more protected. Also being in a space of abundant energy. Here you have a lot. Um, you have received a lot. So you have a lot to give, right? The more that you receive, the more that you have to give. So this sharing energy is so strong, but it's beautiful. All right. So remember that you will be attracting a lot of different types of people and situations. I don't know what to tell you all because I like the sun. You know that? I really do. All right. What is this sharing? Sharing is caring, but use your discernment. Don't overshare, possibly. Maybe you have a lot to offer, but you only... You may have a pot to offer, but you need to present a plate. Hello. All right. What is this sharing card for my beautiful Cancerians, honey? The chariot in your element. Uh, I say you win your element. Say you win your element. Thank you, Taryn. I said you win your element. You are in your element. Moving forward. Courageously so. Going into this space where you have so... I'm telling you, look at this. The light from that candle. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if your candles start to burn out really, really quick. Like, damn, I just lit that candle like an hour ago. And it's already gone. Out of there. Don't be surprised. It's a good sign. All right. What is this chariot? Because I feel as though now you are determined, even more determined than you were. You are even more in a space of um, knowing what you want, knowing what you have accomplished, but also being in a space of confidence. You are confidently moving forward with the way that you are. Right? Y'all just out here smiling at everybody. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> but y'all out here doing it. Look at these. Mm-hmm. Even when somebody pissed y'all off, y'all just smiling because you get it. You get it. Many of you will be in a space of gratitude moving forward. You will have a lot. It's like you are allowing yourself to be directed. You are allowing yourself to move by that divine instruction. You won't need a lot of people to uh, input or no, a lot of people to tell you nothing about where you're going, basically. Give me one more card for these Cancerians, honey. Give me one more card. The morning. Every morning. Every morning you're looking up, every morning, like I'm telling you, before you go to sleep and when you wake up, it's going down. There's something here to do with um, just being in that space of gratitude allows you to move. If you want to keep it simple, being in the space of gratitude allows you to move. Being in a, great, a space of gratitude allows you to move. Connecting with your true north, okay? Connecting with your true north. Mm. All right, cancers, honey.